All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be going over the basic things you need to ice fish, and I'm gonna share some tips. So if you've never ice fished before in your life and you're looking to get into it, this video is for you. Obviously, you can get into all the gizmos and gadgets and all this gear, um, but there's really only a couple things that you need. All right, so we're here at the truck and I'm showing you some of the basic things that we're gonna to need to go ice fishing. Now, obviously, first off, you're gonna need a, a fishing pole. You can use a full length fishing pole. I've seen people take the tip of the rods off. However, they do make special fishing poles for ice. This is a Berkeley, and I picked it up for about $20 at Dunham's. The ice fishing poles are typically really short, because really all you're doing is fishing in a hole or some square in the ice and you don't need a full pull to actually go out and catch fish. So obviously with having a fishing pole, you're also going to need to be able to dig a hole. Here we have a six inch auger. This auger is made by Eskimo and I picked this one up for I believe $50 on sale on Amazon. Oh, two years ago or so and what the auger is, is it just basically, it's like a, a big drill that you can drill into the ice and open up a hole. These come in different sizes. If you're just getting started, uh, I will say this, the six inch good with good blades is probably the best auger that I've used on the ice as far as ease, unless you're looking for big fish this is a perfect thing and the links down in the description one of the other things that you're going to need that i overlooked for the first year i was fishing and i had cold hands is something to scoop the slush and ice out of the water when you drill you don't necessarily need this however i put this in the pile of things you need because this makes life so much easier so there you have it this is the basic three things that i say that you need to go ice fishing now you don't need an auger i will say that the auger is just nice it's specifically made for drilling through the ice and ice fishing they're they are a little bit more expensive to get started but it's okay sometimes you can even go on the lake and ask a guy to uh, borrow their auger i see people do it all the time some people have even came and borrowed mine so one of the other things that you can use to actually drill into the ice is what is called a it's a spud bar or an ice bar i don't have that here but i'll be showing a picture here on the screen the spud bar is really nice for actually uh, checking ice and checking the thickness of ice so the spud bar can be used to pound a hole in the ice chip it away and then you can use your scoop to pull it out the benefit with a spud bar is it is a little bit less expensive and you can chisel the any size hole you want uh, it is a lot of work though before you begin i will say that you are going to need your fishing license unless the pond is on a private it's on private property and the pond itself is privately owned all right so we are here in the state of ohio and odnr or the ohio department of natural resources recommend that a minimum of four inches of ice thickness of the ice is recommended for a human to ice fish now when i say that i mean probably a little heavier i'm i'm pushing 250 uh and four inches three and a half to four inches is what i look for even before i re remotely begin to even think about going on the ice and how you find out is you can actually just hop on an ice fishing thing on facebook and typically ask how thick the ice is you might get a little flack for it because they're just going to say why don't you go out and check but if you're new just forget the rhetoric and go ask uh, or if you see somebody on the ice that is probably the best thing to do is to ask them uh, when they're coming off and what the ice is you can also use a spud bar or use the auger and go out every 10 feet or so and start drilling however if you're new at it i don't really recommend that i, I get used to asking people get used to being on the ice before you start going and actually exploring and being the one that takes the risk before everybody else so a lot of times when i got into ice fishing and i wanted to go out i had to find where i needed to go where can you go ice fishing and you can basically go ice fishing any open public water anywhere uh, that you want so we're here at the pond i have my auger and we're going to actually for the first time ever i've never walked on this pond when it was frozen we're going to walk out and we're going to drill test holes and we're gonna get see how deep the ice is. And then I, that way you guys also get to see on how you would drill a hole 
and how you can use an auger to actually test the depth of the ice as you're walking out if you're uncertain. All right, so we are about four feet out from the edge. Now keep in mind, a lot of times the ice is thinner the closer to the edge you get, and as you get out, it gets thicker, typically. So let's go ahead and drill a hole and see how deep this ice is. here is about four inches of ice after we dug it. The top layer is slush, about two inches of slush, and then we have a solid four inches underneath of that. All right, so now that we have our hole dug, we're actually going to take our skimmer and we're, what I do is I clean the slush off around the ice just because I don't want that going inside. All right, and we're just gonna take the skimmer and go ahead and pull that ice right out of the hole. Now you can see the thickness of the ice. That could be deceiving, so go ahead and at least use a measuring tape all right, so now we got our hole ready, we're ready to go fishing. So a couple things to know when ice fishing. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources state that uh, you should have at least four inches of ice before you even consider going out on that ice with one human or one person. Ice can really fluctuate throughout the lake. So here on the pond, I can tell you that the ice, just from the way that the wind currents is, and it's not very big, the ice goes from four inches all the way up to six inches here. But on a lake, it can be an inch. It can be just a skim. And uh, so you just have to be careful and make sure you know where you're fishing. So one of the things when I first started going on ice was the god awful noise that ice makes when it's expanding. And what is happening is when the ice is expanding and getting stronger and, and getting thicker, it's pushes on itself until it creates fractures. And these fractures make this noise that sounds, they call it singing. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the ice is getting any weaker. A lot of times that actually means that ice is getting stronger. So no matter where you go ice fishing, just know that no ice is safe ice. But the more you know about the ice, the safer you can be when you go out. So if you're an angler that likes to go ice fishing now and you have any tips that you would like to share with any new people trying to get out and ice fish, go ahead and post them down in the comments. So that's it for this video. If you're new to ice fishing, you got any questions, go ahead and post them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button and hitting that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Stay warm.